intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello. Welcome to a quick video. I have a um, package here I got from Indigon Demon. Um, I did open up, peek in and see what was going on with this. I wasn't quite sure what it was. Um, but I peeked in and was like, oh, that's a package. Let me, uh, let me open it and pour stuff out. So I don't know what's in here. Um, there's something in here. Um, kind of feels like a, a coin roll maybe, a short coin roll. I'm not sure. So I'm going to check that out here in just a second. Um, before we do this, um, uh, I, I should be able to, hopefully over the next week or so, I should get to more of a normal schedule uh, happen. Again, I have been going through a lot of different issues and things I've been trying to figure out and get squared away in life. And I think um, getting to a point where I can get back to editing and, and recording videos on a more timely basis. I just finished a nickel hunt and I'm gonna edit that and probably put that out next week in this one. It's Thursday night when I'm opening up this, so it's Friday morning. Um, so Friday, I'll probably have this video out. So look, uh, but do look forward to that. Um, there were no shorts this week. I just, I have some films that I finally got filmed yesterday for the quarter album, I believe. So look for those next week as well, if I can get those finished. Um, hopefully I get back to normal. Also, one more thing. Um, I do have a new post office box, a new uh, address. So if you're sending me something, Please double check and I'll, I'll pop it up here on the screen. And if, if you are sending me something, do so send it to the new post office box. I do have a, a Ford, uh, the, uh, my old uh, PO box forwarded. So that's how I got this. It was forwarded over to me. Um, so thank you very much. Let's get into this. This is from Indigon Demon. I don't know what's, what's all in here. So I might um, have to cut some of this if there's something um, interesting. Oh, here's one of his stickers. And uh, if you haven't heard, uh, if you haven't uh, seen Indigon Demon, uh, go check him out. He does a lot of cool things. Uh, he does uh, some grading coins and stuff, and uh, always fun to check out uh, what he's got going on over there. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. It says, uh, thank you. Thanks a ton for the Lincoln Rolls to Hunt. Sorry it has taken me so long to get back to you. Uh, from Dan Indigon. P.S. I hope you enjoy the bonus coin. Um, let's play a little game. Let's see which DDRs these are. <laughs> so is this a game or did you just not want to look up these DDRs? <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, I sent him a game and uh, had him... Did, did I send it to you where I said, hey, here's a little game. Try to figure out if this is a DDR or damage or something. So thank you very much. Let's check this out, and then we'll get into this here. Uh, let me let me grab my scissors. All right. So let me cut into this, and hopefully there's nothing in here to cut. Looks like I missed everything. Oh, we have a roll of dimes. Roll of dimes from twenty. 24 nice 2024 Philly roll of dimes that's really cool um, if you have if you weren't aware these are a lower mintage um, this year so far unless they decide to make more um, dimes and nickels are going to have a lower mintage this year the year's not over so they could decide to mint more but uh, last they they're not updating the numbers of the mintages for these over the past three or four months so it seems like they might be done with these this year so let's see what is going on here oh we got three quarters um so that's cool thank you very much for the dimes that is awesome i do appreciate that uh, and let's see we got three quarters i gotta try to figure out what ddrc's are oh i'm tearing your little note well it's tore already now oh <laughs> He sent me, so if you watch any of my quarter videos, uh, I usually come across at least one of these per hunt. 
And these are the Harper's Ferry and the Homestay quarters. Let me get in the camera there. These usually have some DDRs in the windows um, there and in the windows here. So um, these are just open here. Let me just pull these out. All right, let me try to keep these in order so I can uh, make sure I'm getting the right ones. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'll put these on the scope and I'll try to set up the camera so I can do the scope or maybe I'll just record it over here. Um, my hand's a little shaky so it's hard for me to hold the camera straight and then my monitors, uh, when I try to record and get a little kind of feedback on the camera there. So we're gonna see what these are and I will try to figure out what ones these are. You know what, let me, let me set up and I'll just screen record my computer so I can screen record going to the sites and figuring out which one these are as well. So let me get that set up and then uh, we'll go through these and take a look and uh, we'll see if I can get these right. All right, and you're gonna to have to let me know if I get these right or not. Thank you very, again, thank you very much for the dimes. That is really cool um, to get that. Uh, so I'm gonna hold on to these since this is a lower minute chair. So thank you very much. And again, do go check out Indigon Demon if you have not. There'll be a link um, up in the corner or down below somewhere. There'll be some links that you can click on. So do go check them out. And, uh, give them a sub, tell them thank you. Uh, tell them that Atox sends you over there if you, if you haven't uh, subbed to him yet. All right, let me be right back. We'll get that set up and we'll take a look at these. Okay, I'm going to be using my mouse here as a pointer. Hopefully you can see it there. So let's look at this first one. And right here we got some doubling in this window. A bit here and a little bit here it looks like. Um, okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to just take a quick look at all three of these. Here is the second one. You can see this one has some double ink here, here, and here, and a little bit there. I think I found this coin before. I found similar to this one. That's the second one. Those are both on the Harper's Ferry. And here is the Homestead. Let's see. Oh, let's see up here in this window. Got a little doubling up here, it looks like. This one is a bit more minor. There's no leaky bucket or snow on the roof or anything like that. So that is that one. All right, let's go back to the first one. We'll do these in order. So uh, know what we're looking for. Um, so I'll put this one up and then let's do this. Let's, okay, there we go. I'll click back and forth here. So there are two sites to use here. I've got uh, Wexler's Double Die down the side. I got Double Die listed and selected. So if you go to DoubleDie.com and then you can go down here to Double Die Listings and then down here, Washington, we need the America the Beautiful. And these are in here by states. And we're going to go to West Virginia here. Um, now on Wexler's you have to kind of scroll through all of them and you can look at here so i'm just going to try and just match up what we got going on here to this window to these windows in here and um being wexlers i might cut out some of this you have to scroll through all of these here and there's over 100 150 100 some we'll, we'll get to the end here in a minute we'll see how much there is but there's over 150 and you can see some there's some die markers on these so uh, just to keep the video a little bit shorter, I might cut out some of the scrolling and looking. It's kind of look that has a one window, like the second coin there. I'm going to kind of be looking for both here. And if I come across one, I will let you know. Otherwise, I might just scroll through here and find these if I don't come across them here shortly. Okay, I just got to number 80 here. And this looks like it could be... The second coin let's switch over to it real quick and let's take a look here you know what let me zoom in a little bit here and get really close on this and see if we can get this uh a good look at this one all right let's 
let's see here. It's about as clear as I'm going to get it. Okay, so what we have here, we've got some doubling, doubling here, a little bit doubling in this window. Doubling, 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 a little doubling in this window. Let's just make that big. All right. Here, let's zoom in. Here. Let's take a good close look at these. Um, this one shows a little bit of uh, the the line on the windows here. Looks like it was doubled here. This one has a little bit here. Um, hmm. That may have it. This one is just that got some damage or wear, so it's just not showing up. And it could be just a could be just uh, the um, shadow. Let's move it around a little bit. Take a look at that here from the side. I don't know. It might be number 80. This one is very, very close here, what have you. The one showed in the windows above the arch center doorway. It shows in the second, third, and fourth windows from the left, left on the bottom row. Uh, no observable die markers. Um, this is close. That's a possible mat. So let me keep looking here. And then, um, yeah, let me uh, keep looking and we'll see what else we got here. Um, so that is a possible match. We got 80 as a possible match. It doesn't quite look like it matches up, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 86. This looks more like it here. Um, you can see there's a tiny bit of what might be the, um, the window there, but it's just not quite showing. Let's look here. This one looks like it has a tiny bit. It has that little thing there. These windows all seem to match there. Uh, this window doesn't quite match, I don't think. Maybe it does. It's close. Let's see. This one has a bit more deep shadows coming from this way, so it looks like it kind of comes around there. Um, I don't know if my scope is, uh, my microscope is picking it up. It kind of looks like there's something there in that third window. Um, let's see. None. So 86 is the best choice for this one. Here's another one that looks like the one we just looked at, but it doesn't quite look the same. 98. Um, it's a little out of focus. That could be something here. So the other one might be 98. All right, well, let me keep looking. I'll be right back and uh, let you know if I find anything that matches. Okay, so I've reached the bottom that is listed out here on Wexler's for this. It's at 163. There's 163 out here listed out on Wexler's. Um, now, real quick, over on Variety Vista, there is listings as well. However, if we go in here, go to DDRs, which this is reverse, we got the 2015s here, but there's nothing listed out on Variety Vista for this coin. So none of these have been sent in, or uh, Dr. Wilds over here just decided not to list those. But there is over, there's 107 listed for the 2015s here, and we'll be looking at those shortly. So, um, only got Wexler's to check out here. So, this is what we got. I did not see a match for the first coin, but I'm going to go back through these real quick and take another look and just see if I didn't miss it going through the first time. Okay, I think I found a match here for the first coin. Um, this looks like it's WDDR021. Let's just flip back to it. So you see there's the doubling here, a little bit here, possibly a little bit there. And if we go here, we've got doubling here, we got doubling here. And the possibility here may just be a little bit of damage. Um, but if we look here and here, looks to match that there. 
so yeah okay yeah there's no uh, die markers here so I'm gonna go so for these two coins I've got WDDR two two uh, zero two one for the first one and then W DDR086 was the other one. I know I was looking at 98 and I took a good look at those and it did not match 98. It matches up to 86 uh, mostly or almost perfectly to 86. So those are those two. And now we're going to come over here. We're going to look at the doubling auto on variety vista for uh, the homestead 2015 homestead. So those are those. And we'll pull up the homestead over here. Now there's some listed out here and probably a ton of things. Looks like there's a little bit of double ear you can find on the homestead. Um, it's very tiny. I uh, didn't realize there was a double ear for that one. Here and again, what we're looking for is up in this window right here. Uh, let's go back. So we're going to look for, so right here, Number one has some doubling in the same window we're looking at, but it's not does not match because this one only has it here. It does not have the extra down here. So that's what I'm going to be looking for, and I'm going to be scrolling through these. And there is um, the pump handle. The extra pump handle on this one is actually pretty cool. I think I've found one of these um, before, but it's been a while. Or I found a I found one with some extra pump handle because there's a few of them with some extra pump handle. All right, well, let me go back over to Variety Vista. Now, this is one thing I like about Variety Vista. There's the extra pump handle that we were just looking at. Um, uh, Wexlers, you have to scroll down through them. It's a little clunky and takes some time over on Variety Vista. Now, I usually come out to Variety Vista first off because um, you can get a quick view of what we're looking at here in several of these um, pictures at the same time. It usually goes um, about 20 of them or so here, and then you have to click on the next page. Okay. Oh, is this it? 80. This one kind of looks like it. Let's click on 80 and come in here. You can see, let's zoom in the page a little bit so we can see these pictures a little bit closer. We've got a little bit here, which is what ours look like. Boom, boom, boom. And then there is some die markers here, a little die chip up there. Now this one has a leaky bucket. This, this coin we have does not have a leaky bucket. Um, so this is just die stage A. What die stage is this one? Um, this is die stage B. So we don't have a die stage A or die stage C early or late die stage this is more of a middle die stage so this one could possibly be it let's just take a quick look at those die markers and see if there's anything there there's nothing there over here on the stock here um no die chip there and you can find die chips on these stocks i don't look for them because they are kind of minor i don't usually look for them because i'm usually just looking at the uh, more stuff in the middle because you could but you can find die chips on these stocks up here on the left and right on a lot and there is no leaky bucket as we'd already look at so this is a possible 80 that is in a earlier die stage than this one is that was sent in so let's go back I'm gonna Pop that open in a new tab. Just hold on to that one for now. So that's that's pretty much how I do this. Um, and we're almost to the end here, so I'll just keep you around here for a second. There's something here. It doesn't quite look like it. It is looks like it's more lower on the window. Yeah, so this is the process. Some people find this enjoyable, some people don't. Um, that is the end of those listed out here. Um, so right here, I'm looking at uh, DDR80, and I'm going to go take a quick look back through those, and then um, I can scroll through Wexler, and you already saw me doing this with the other one. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll pause the video here, and I will 
come back and show you what I find. Okay, so I'm about halfway through Wexler's, and I come across a similar um, double die here. And again, it's up here in this window. So this is what I'm seeing here. It looks like there's some up, there's up here in this window, which kind of matches the location. Um, slightly in the upside of the R2 window that would be over here. So there's a little bit here on this one. Uh, there's possible something there, but I'm not seeing it. There might be something there. Uh, maybe. Although, this one may not match up perfectly, but it kind of looks like this one. Um, there is some die markers here. Uh, there's some die scratches here, and my scope doesn't get the die scratches very well, This these minor ones here. And then there's a little um, die crack here on this one. And if we go back to the coin, mine does not have the die crack up there by the little chimney. So, similar. Very similar. It's possible that, because this is such a very minor spot. Let me go back over here. This one, this one may have the minor spot. To my, the coin I'm looking at here kind of has more of, looks like this, where there may be something there, but may not. It could just be some spots or some discoloration, something like that. Um, so, well, 98 is possible. Let me keep looking. I'm about halfway through. Okay, so I've gotten down to the bottom here. So we got one. Uh, 178 listed. It looks like there's photos needed of this one, so I don't have a photo here. It looks like there's a San Francisco reverse variety for this one as well. DDR shows are one. I didn't know there was one on San Francisco. I might need to go look at my San Francisco's that I've come across and double check. I don't know if I've ever double checked them. Hmm. Okay, so I'll have to check out the double. The, the San Francisco's, but uh, back on topic. So there's 177 listed out here on Wexler for doubling on the homestead. And again, it only goes up to 107 over on Variety Vista. And a quick, why is that? That is because um, two different uh, two di different gentlemen, two different lists, and you have to send your coin in to get uh, verified by them. And some coins have made it over to Wexler's that haven't gone to Variety Vista and vice versa. Um, so, uh, and let me scroll back up to the one that was the only one that I saw that matched. So let me go back to that. Okay. So here we are on, uh, here we are. Wexler's. It looks like the best match is WDDR098. I can't verify that for sure. This does kind of look like it matches out to DDR080 out on Variety Vista. Um, and it's possible this coin matches up to this coin, and it's the same same DDR. Um, they just uh, haven't been able to verify that for cross references there. So that's what I'm going with on these coins. So let me uh, let me switch back to my other overhead, and uh, we'll break this down real quick. Okay, so here we are for these three coins on this test. I've got the first one was. Uh, Wexler's listed WDDR021 is the the one that I believe matches. The second one I'm pretty sure matches to Wexler's uh, DDR086. And the third one, the Homestead, um, there are no Variety Vista listings for the Harper's Ferry, so these are only listed out on Wexler's. For the third coin, I was able to get it matched up to 098. It does have that little nub on the other side able to get a better picture with my camera so it's 098 with possible ddr 80 out on variety vista so that's what i have that's what i'm going with um indigon let me know if you let me know in the comments i'll pin your comment up at the top so you can see the answer so do go check the comments and see if i if i matched up i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up helps me out drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought and i do hope for this was helpful um i will have links for these uh two sites for double dies down in the comments below. Uh, 
or in the comments, not in the comments, but in the description box if you are interested in checking those out to see. We saw the process. Um, hopefully I got these correct. And if not, maybe I'm off just a little bit. All right. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.